What's up, guys? It's Josh Martinez. I'm here at the Zach Nichols podcast, chopping it up with my boys. Tune in. Subscribe to the Patreon to see the full episode. Welcome back to the Zach Nichols podcast. I'm here with my host, Mr. Zach Nichols. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but more importantly hey what an intro we haven't had a uh guest for a couple weeks but we do have another champion in the building yes we do big brother winner challenge legend maybe the most polarizing Uh, maybe the most polarizing character on national tv (laughs) at this moment for the last five years the fearless i'll take that that. easily (laughs) the fearless mr josh martinez to him (laughs) What this guy, yeah. this guy doesn't care what anybody says. He's gonna come and show up. Thanks for coming to Detroit, man. Thank you guys, dude. Cold, you freezing? <laughs> it's a breakout. Yeah, <laughs> not used to it, but it's good. Person. I've heard say that. Really? Jenna told me that it was a thing that people said. That's a Jersey thing. Yeah. That's a Jersey. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, saw I was like. Speaking of Jenna, yeah. uh, she came through with the cupcakes. I gotta, I gotta shout her out. Really. Jenna, we, I've housed. I'm literally housing my cupcake, but I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> the hospitality is unreal. <laughs> Jenna, this is on air for you. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. So, um, it's good. Festive sprinkles. Mm-hmm. She's, she's the sweetest, in, man. She's in full uh, Halloween mode. Oh, yeah. She was in Halloween mode in, like, August 30th. <laughs> <laughs> she had um, Nightmare, on, Nightmare Before Christmas decorations in the house in, like, August. I'm thinking... <laughs> Wow, <laughs> my, me and my sister, we might have to stop by for a picture. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be a sea turtle this year. We're gonna get you to dress up one of these years. All right, yeah, we'll see. We'll <laughs> Pressure, we'll, yeah, we'll see about that. But more importantly, yeah, let's get to Josh, there. man. I haven't seen Josh yeah. since we were in Thailand. It's been a while, dude. Yeah, no, I mean that was the last time I saw Polly too. So just, wow. like, yeah. You yeah. know what's crazy? It feels like I've. Like it's just crazy. I literally feel like I've been living with you. I'm like, oh, I saw him last week. It's like, it's like going, it's like, dude, it's like going to Neverland. Do hundred. That's what I don't know how is. to explain it. I don't have the words, but that's literally what it feels like. I have not seen you in four years, and I'm like, all right, this is like my brother. I saw him fucking two weeks ago. That's what it feels like for me. That's what's yeah. insane. Go to the North Star. He's had two street. babies, about to pop another one. <laughs> I'm like, life right. is moving. I'm like, yeah. holy shit. I know. Uh, do you or do you love the ha- challenge more or do you hate it more? Dude, I love it. Yeah. I it's love it. Most addictive drug I, in the world. Guys, I don't do drugs, but that is such... You have hit it right yeah. on the head. It's, like, so addictive. Like, you... I got off of this season, and I remember telling production, I was like, don't call me. I'm taking a break. I'm not doing it. Every exit interview I did, I was like, yeah, I need to take a break. And I'm like, all right, when are we leaving? That's, <laughs> that's, what, like, that's what every drug addict does. Four months? Done. I'm every there. drug addict, like, I'm never oh, touching dude. this again. And then a week later, they're like, man... Yeah. <laughs> They crushed up some of that challenge and started. Somehow, like, how, how about much are we all freaking yeah. All right. <laughs> it's, no, but it's not even the money. I'd do it for free at this point. Stop it. I mean, listen. Let me negotiate for you. <laughs> He's exaggerating. Like, just the, being able to, like, your life is a competition when you're there. Yeah. Everything you do is a competition from the way you approach. I mean, and there's people you're friends with, but you're playing a game. Yeah. You got to remember that. And it's like. It's as close as you can get to playing the world's most dangerous. Oh, Josh! Game. Josh knows it's a 100%. game. He yeah. does. He plays his own game. Sure. And uh, we'll we'll definitely get into a lot of your moves, but we are going to start by uh, reviewing this final. Um, let's, did you, let's let's bust through the final though. Let's do it. We'll make it okay. quick. We'll make it quick. Okay. Um, do you watch this, Josh? I did. I yeah. Did. It was. Hard. Was it painful to watch? It was. It truly was. How bad did you want to be there? I could see it. You know what? Bad. You did bad. what I did. You realized like this is not just a TV show and a good time. You're like, this is something that could change a lot of people's lives. And you, you took a season off. You, you got back and you got ready to go. And now I heard now you're waking up in the morning, every morning you're crushing the gym yeah. on the show. Like you're, you're preparing for a final. Like yeah. You're preparing for the biggest race ever. Do you know what I could compare it to? It was the fact that you said that's crazy. Cause I remember the last season me and you did. That's how you, de- that's how you handled that season. He would wake up <laughs> to 100, literally by 6 a.m. Zach was done with his workouts. I'm like 100 burpees, 200 jump ropes, run three miles. I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? So that's real. Because he tells me that all no, the time. But I'm like, you ain't real. getting up at 3 a.m. People would be caught, like, caught up in drama. Zach was like, I'm grabbing my food and going to bed. Like, I'm not dealing with this shit. He's like, Josh, reel it in. Come here. Yeah. Like, said- him and Nani helped me a lot. And, dude, he was locked in. And I think. I mean, it's taking me a while, but I think I'm getting there. <laughs> I think well, why, like, I'm taking it more serious. You still enjoy every aspect of the show. 
and just you have to you just you can work hard while you're there and you can really prepare for it because the last thing you want to do is get to a final unprepared yeah Mm -hmm. like that is i mean mentally especially physically but mentally anything so if you always just have that in the back of your mind and you always like listen you're there yes to perform a job as long as you're still performing your duties as yeah. far as like giving them, you know, the good clips yeah. and the edits and whatever. But like when you remember you're there to kill it and you're there to make some cash. And also now that everyone's talking about legacies and all that, it's like kind of cool to be. Yeah. More you know, than ever. Right. It it's ridiculous. Like, it's like, um, it's like all really this- turned into a sport now. It's like all your yeah. records and all your shit. It's like, it applies the pressure, but. It is, you know what? I'm yeah. glad they didn't do that when I first started. It was more reality. <laughs> it was, more and like, it was still like, oh, you're we talking champ's about a champ, you know? Yeah. But uh, it's nothing like it is now. So like, you took notes. Proud, proud to hear that. Yeah. Because I knew you got when you said that. I'm like, yeah, that's. I did that every day. Every 4 a.m. on my, I had a watch and I said, locked well, in. No, locked I mean the the evidence is very, very, very visual. Um, we know that you've transformed your body. You've went from. Uh, sculpted now Big and and cups. you're working on it yeah oh, man the, fucking, the cuts <laughs> workout crews and and so drinking eat like a yeah. fat but i your I arms got like look like the conch shell like, <laughs> 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 i saw that we'll talk about the future in a little bit but into the episode it starts off with desi kind of recounting last season this is for you josh yeah um what's desi like as a person as a competitor and how did your relationship develop throughout the season because we know there were some rough spots at the beginning yeah oh dude C- complete like I couldn't read Desi for the longest time. So I took it as in like, all right, she doesn't want to work with me. That's how you just handle it in there. You're like, all right, she's not rocking with me. She's easy for me to target and get out. Um, She initially voted for me and I found out because I had people within their line. So that gave me a reason to target her. But as the season went on, she became one of my favorite people. She, I mean, if you ever meet Desi, you would just instantly just like, you could tell she's such a genuine good soul. Yeah. And it takes a while for her. A lot of people are different. Like, I could say that about you. It takes a while for you to, like, <laughs> for pe- you to grow on people, right? I'm like, dude, Zach is the most, like, genuine, nicest person. But it's like, she's the same way. Like, it takes a while for her to get there. And then once she gets there, it's like, dude, you you, you fucking love her. So I I love Des. She's a really good friend of mine now. And, and, and I rock with her. But it took me a minute. It took me, honestly, halfway through the season for me to grow that relationship with her. For wow. Me. How about yeah. as a competitor? Oh, she's... A beast i mean you see that i think with desi you what, see that i mean we can only see what they show you, every okay so what what's good about desi is she's fearless in the sense of like she's gonna go into everything she's like i'm not the best but i'm gonna give it my own as a challenger that's all you need to have it's like all right you got to be ballsy in the sense of like are we all terrified of heights fuck yeah we're all scared of shit but that's why we signed up for this shit you yeah, know i'm yeah, like yeah. i'm an adrenaline junkie so i live for that shit but like for her, it was it, you saw that in the water, she wasn't the most confident. She still showed up and performed, and she always gave it her all. And I think that that's something that you really respect. What's so wild is as we got closer to the end, I could see the switch in her, and she started to lock in. Mm. Like, you definitely felt the energy with her shift, and it was like, all right, this could really happen for me. And within the house, I felt that with her. I was like, all right. She's definitely in it to win it. You yeah, know? so that's cool. I'm so happy for her, dude. Yeah, no, she had a yeah, tremendous was, season. I was shocked. I I was, I would have put all my chips in on Michaela. Michaela, yeah, yeah. But like I said, I'm a little bit. I want to know what happened. Like, did she cross the finish line or did she get taken off by the stretcher? Because that's I don't know. Because that's you know that's the I thing. Don't know people always say like I get it a little bit from uh, free agents. Paulie got it a lot yep. for yeah. War of the Worlds too. Yeah. But it's like. That little guy, he got across the finish line. So, like, yes, he had rough patches, but if you get across the finish line, you get across the finish line. Hundred percent, that's true. You know. Um, speaking of Michaela, normally I wait until middle of the road, but Michaela is our next surprise guest. For those of you who are tuning in for that, she will be here in a couple of days, and you're gonna ask her point blank what happened in that final. Yeah, I need to know. Did you cross the finish line? Because if you didn't, like, I'm gonna talk some shit. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's the way it goes, and that's the way you it know, goes. It's okay to die, but you gotta cross that finish line. Mm-hmm. That's what was so cool. Was like. As much as like you wanted, like you know, people you can dislike or not. Johnny's a forty-year-old man, got third, but he crossed the finish line. Ten miles uphill. I mean, Impressive. regardless of what it was, like you know, that's hundred percent. That's I mean, that's a huge feat, and for Corey to come back from a five-minute deficit to get second, yeah. that's big too. And obviously, yep. you know, Chanel the ascension well. of Chris was he was locked in too. Yeah, like he was. Yeah, like it's crazy when you see people get to that that mode, like when they're locked in and they have just like. There was nothing stopping no. him because you know what, he he got out. Yes, he won four elimination rounds, but there were f- 
there was four other monsters waiting for him to lose one challenge, yep. and then he was going to have to take on one of you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was going to be rid ridiculous. He knew way. that, too. I think he knew that. I think Chris, I don't even think Chris locked in at the final. Chris had to be locked in for, like, the last two weeks. Yeah. Right. He was literally in the zone. And, like, he would say it. He's like, dude, I, have, I know what it is. I know... And we would have those conversations. He's like, it's either I win or I go up against one of you guys. So he knew the situation. Yeah. And at that point, we like accepted it. But, you know, he pulled through and you can't help but to be happy for the guy. I mean, no, I get it. As a, as a, <laughs> as a competitor. Yeah, as a competitor, it's like so much respect for him. And that's dude. what, like, when you think about like everything it takes to win a final, if there's no hopper, you're in the final. And that's why it's like every yeah. season you can play a flawless game, but there's some stupid rule that comes out at the end like, oh, wait, there's going to be just one winner, Zach. Or, oh, Josh, by the way, you don't get the most votes, but you're going in because of the hopper. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, Or for Fessel this time, hey, if you can't throw an X, you're going to have to run out. an extra. You're going to have to run an extra mile yeah. and a half. I mean, do you think that maybe he doesn't like, for example, you were locked in yeah. because you haven't made it to a final. Yeah. I think he thinks it's easy to make it to a final. Do you yep. think he just doesn't lock in because he th it's easy for him? And, like, yeah. you might be better than him eventually because for you, you had to work to this point where it's like he's got a lot of God-given ability, and you had to work so hard to get to the final that when you get there, you're going to be – it's like when Rocky – Rocky three, right? He lost at first to Clubber Lang because he didn't have the eye, right? Yeah. You have it. You can tell you have it. Yeah. And the only Thanks, thing that dude. kept you from – oh, dude, everyone can see it. Thanks, buddy. I mean, you're all – It means a lot but, coming from you. But also – you can't how good does it feel to come to a game and be like well you're not voting me and you're not voting me and you're not voting. that's that's a good <laughs> feeling, you know i knew it was chilling for <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. i'm big chilling yeah i knew that and i said that like i said that in my interviews to production i was like guys i could literally sit back and not do shit and i'm in a really oh. i'm in the best spot i've ever walked in to a game but also that's just not who i am like that's just not in my nature i'm right. not one to like I think it works for somebody like Fessy and Corey and respect to them. They could sit back and they could fucking chill and, yeah. and not have to politic and not have to play that game. And I think that Fessy has proven himself physically where he could like, all right, nobody's going to fuck with me. And I think that like, I think Fessy knows like, all right, at least I'm going to take it for this season. I think he knew he was like, all right, I'm sitting pretty. I'm good. Like mm -hmm. I got my people protecting me. I got my numbers over here. I got big brother. I'm good. I think for me, I knew that, but also I'm the type of person where it's like, I don't know. My ADD kicks in, and I'm like, I need to start playing the game. Well, it's not easy. I need, to, like, I need to be involved some way. A front so. runner is not an easy place to be. You yeah. gotta. You sometimes you gotta motivate yourself. Well, I also wanted it, like you said. I wanted it so bad that I wasn't willing to sit back and let the game play out. I was like, I need to play the game and make the moves, and I need to do what I have to do to advance myself. And that's well, you also orchestrated like almost every move, which in turn keeps a cocoon around you. So, like, if even if something went wrong, you still had room to if it wasn't for the hopper dude you're 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 walking to the final like you're not even the, the elimination round would have even been a thought yeah you know what i'm saying it just is what it is that's, like you that's like, the hopper. but like do you think it's do you think you do that also because maybe you you want the people around you who you're close with to make it too and you care yeah 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 like i think that 100 percent. i genuinely wanted to make it i genuinely wanted to make it with the group that i ran with like when we came in and I saw the dynamic and I saw CBS, how united they were and the front that they had. And it was like the vets. And once I saw that play out, I was like, all right, me, Polly, Fessy, and Nisha are really the ones that are like the ones that could control this game. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't help. And also like, I don't know if CB, like the CBS crew would ever say this, but they also never let me truly in. Like they would talk game with me, but it was never how I was okay. like. Yeah, they made I, it seem like you were like. Dude, no, and... no. It was like they would they would talk game with me, but to an extent. I never felt fully in with them. So I was like, all right, basically I know where I stand. Once you guys get rid of the vets, I'm next. Right. That's how it so felt. Let's, let's keep the vets. So I was like, <laughs> that. <laughs> like I know where we're going with this. I'm going to hold my people down but i think also people going in the conversations that i had they knew how close i was to tori and johnny mm -hmm. and fest and they were just like all right no matter what no matter how close we get you're never going to turn on those people and i mean it was true till the very end you know um but then that's what's the hard part you get to the end and it's like, that is that when he you always talks about when that. you care it's, it's like the, dude i care too much and you I, do that's just why too much because you know i mean you know how i would i, I mean i think everyone knows what i would have done there but 
I don't think it's fair. What would have you done? I would vote. I mean, personally, it's like the way I see it. And this is, I don't know if I explained this to you, but this is how me and Jordan have always rolled. I will never vote for you. You never vote for me. But I'm also like, don't tell me what to do with my power. I won't tell you to do with your power. Like if the other person makes a mistake and ends up in the elimination round, it's not his fault. He needs to still yeah. compete. So my thought was for you, if I'm you, I'm thinking I want to run the final against you know, I don't want to run the final against Chris, but he's there, so I can't do anything about that. Yeah. But I, Fessy is great in finals. Corey's obviously got the dog in him because you don't go from five minutes down to doing what no. he did. So I would have probably been like, listen, it's not fair for people who are in bad positions to use their friendship with you to do what they want. I didn't yeah. think that was fair. Yeah. And I think that they pulled at your heartstrings in order to get you to do what they wanted, what was better for them. But the best thing for you to do, and this doesn't make it right for Johnny to do what he did, but the best move for you was Corey because then you're going to lose Corey or Fessy going into the final, and now you're in a better spot. Throwing in bananas doesn't do anything for you. Yeah. Obviously, I think the best thing to do have done would have been to, one, get rid of Chris. Yeah. But I don't think I don't think it was fair for them to put you in that position, either of them. I think it should have been, if you're really my friend and you have a better hand than me, I want you to do what's best for you. Even, like, it's not, it's not your yeah. fault that I'm in the elimination round. Yeah. You know, so I can't tell you what to do with your vote because it's not fair. If in a poker game, are you not going to pick up this card to win a million dollars against me? No, you're going to do it. <laughs> it's the same yeah, idea, sucks. but you got to do, I think, what's best for you in that position. Because, again, at the end of the day, that money is going to my bank account or your bank account. And if I do the wrong thing, it's going to yours. It should, And I want it to go to mine. Yeah, It's a game. So let me phrase it as a question. Was it fair for Fessy to ask you to vote for bananas? Or Corey? Or uh, not Corey, yeah. Yeah, was it fair for Sorry. him to ask you to vote for bananas? Dude, that you know what's wild? It's been months and I got over when we got off of the season, it was hard, dude. Like processing the way that I left, it happened everything happened so quick. I was like, I can't believe my game's done. Um, and it was hard. I I, I legit didn't want to do the show and I gave it a few months, I got it in a good space, and then reliving that fucking sucks. Like for me to say right now sitting here that i don't feel some type of way about that i'd be lying to you guys like i straight up be looking in your eyes and be like i'm lying to you i feel some type of way about all of it the tory vote the fessy situation i wish we could have sat down i'm getting to friends with johnny and fessy that i should have i handled it wrong too instead of going individually i should have sat down and be like guys like this is my first shot and you're both my friends. And you're both my really and good friends. All gotten here together. That's what I should have done. So and that's exactly shake out. that's exactly what I should have done. And I should have let Fessy and Johnny had that conversation. Like, dude, you want him to vote in his best friend? Let them fucking have that discussion, and 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 come to a decision. But I think I handled the whole thing wrong. And the thing is, like, it sucks. It's really hard. Even watching that was tough. But I can only learn from it, right? And I think the next time. If I ever find myself in a situation like that, that's how I would be more straight up and handle it like that. Yeah. And I would feel way better with myself. The hardest thing is walking away from the experience and struggling internally with one, the promises that I made that I didn't keep, which like I've played, I've been on TV for six years. I've done seven shows. I have never sworn, let alone on my family, fucking do that. So I think that's the biggest disappointment and the biggest struggle internally that I've had seriously and then um obviously you have fans throwing it in your face but i think yeah but they suck yeah fuck i mean, <laughs> I, mean I mean the ones that suck like the, screw them like, yeah listen if people can't look at it like look at it through this lens he cares about his friendship with johnny so much. i really do dude. that's uh, really do. That, that's how much you cared about it and then you also care that much about your relationship with fessy so sometimes in conversations you say things that you don't necessarily mean to prove to them and i don't think I don't think you voting in Johnny proves that you don't love Johnny as a person. Yeah. I just think you you just were caught in a bad place, yeah. and it wasn't fair for them to be doing what they were doing. But at the same time, like, who cares what they say? Like, yeah. it, it, I more so like it's funny now out yeah. of it. Like, yeah. like oh wow, that was kind of. But dude, dude, and that helps me. But that you, helps me because you've been in my shoes. So like to know, like, people like you and nons and like you guys have been in my situation where like it feels so heavy for us but you're just like dude it's not that deep you know, it's right. like it, ma yeah. it helps us dealing with it much easier right yeah. dude yeah. listen yeah no people say crazy my only issue was yeah. with it was like there's nothing wrong with doing whatever's best for your game i just didn't think it was the best for your game you know yeah. personally yeah. you know that was my that was my only thing with it but you you live with it and you learn with yeah. it there you go oh, that's all i can do and i'll <sighs> 
god damn was it the biggest learning experience <laughs> of the season for sure i yeah i took a huge l but i think i learned from it and i think that moving forward i would handle that whole situation way different i think also i like you said i care a lot and yeah. i care about my friendships and i fucking you dude like i told you earlier i'm like you film with these people I spend more time with these people than I do with my own family yeah, like in Jersey. 24-7. 24-7. You bond. Bro, that season, we became. Yeah, we were. You were like my like my number one. Like, literally yeah. by the end of it, you were like my number one guy. Yeah. So it's. It it's, was like a shrink in there with you and I. <laughs> I was taking. <laughs> I, non- yeah, I was having a. Non- <laughs> what a trio. <laughs> yeah, they would come in and be like, you have to talk to us. And I'm like, what? He, was, like, so, he was our therapist. <laughs> Like, our train <laughs> zach's good at that stuff dude yeah. no for real he he talked me off the ledge and i was struggling that season you helped a lot yeah I mean, here's so, the thing is i was like at that point i was so callous from it all like whenever something would happen like it's not a big deal yeah <laughs> is it? this shit happens all right. yeah this happens all the time. and me being me i'm like no but dude yeah you become you you get attached to people and then you build close relationships especially if you keep doing it so for me i care too much and i it, for me to be sit here and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do a different, I'm not, because that's who I am. But I think I would have, instead of making promises that I can't keep, I would have an honest, like just straight up conversation and be like, dude, this is just what it is. And like, yeah. I'm gonna let you guys handle that. And it's funny, cause like, me you're, out of it. you're always like honest after the fact. And like, like in my head, I'm like, bro, if you're gonna be shysty, be fucking shysty. Yeah. But it's not in you to like lie because twice. No, the best no. part, but what's funny to me was like, that concludes the free preview of the Zach Nichols podcast. So go to Patreon and subscribe to see the rest of the shit that we talk. Go do it now.